Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitali, and on this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my loaded potato soup. I have been getting the requested to make this soup for so long and don't know why I never did, but it is to die for and it's so incredibly easy. If you love a loaded baked potato, this is a soup version. And I mean, it's cold outside. I would eat this and I have eaten this in the middle of July, so I have no excuses. But the point is, it's really good, it's really comforting, a little goes a long way, and everyone loves it. I have yet to meet a person that doesn't love it because it's just that rich and bacony and potatoey and really delightful. Now the ingredients you'll need are few and basics. So you're gonna start off with some potatoes. I have some Yukon gold that I've diced into about a half inch or so pieces. I've got some bacon chopped, onion, butter, flour, I've got some chicken stock, some milk, and you are going to need a few additional ingredients which we will get to in just a little bit. But for now, let's get started, shall we? I've got a big soup pot and I'm going to preheat over about medium high heat. Now I need to cook up my bacon first. So you can do you can, you can cook your bacon in the oven first and then crumble it. I just find it easy to just do it all in one pot. And it's, the pot's not super hot yet, but don't worry. Once it starts to sizzle, it gets really hot. The bacon will start to render its fat. It'll start to get really nice and crispy. And once it's nice and crispy, I'm going to get it out of here using a, wooden, uh, a slotted spoon. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. Bacon's nice and crispy. I'm just getting it out of the pan, out of my big pot using the slotted spoon. Now, normally, see I'm like fishing in here because I'm too short. <laughs> normally, I'd say use some of the leftover bacon fat to make your roux or to cook your onions in. I don't want to do that because I find that if you do that, then the bacon flavor just starts to be a little bit overpowering. So what I do is I get rid of the bacon fat. You can keep it in the fridge, it solidifies, and you can keep it to roast potatoes, in which case all would be well with the world and you'd be forever grateful because it is amazing. But <laughs> for today, I'm just gonna get this out onto the dirty bowl. I'm gonna put it in the dirty bowl. And now in that same pot, there's a little bit of fat in there, maybe like a teaspoon or so, but not much. I am going to add my butter because I, it looks like a lot of butter, but remember, this is a really rich soup, a little goes a long way, and I wanna saute my onions in butter, and then I also need the butter to make a roux, so kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to saute my onions in my butter until my onion becomes nice and translucent, and it'll take about, I'd say, two to three minutes, maybe four minutes, just keep an eye on it. These are looking good. I'm gonna add my flour. Now this is what's gonna help thicken, and the potatoes will help thicken the soup as well, but you need to make a roux in order for, you know, in order for the soup to be really thick and creamy and just gorgeous. And you just cook it for about a minute. I wanna make sure that you don't see any raw flour anywhere, and this is perfect. Give it a few more seconds. It gets rid of any of that raw flour taste. It smells so good already because I can smell the bacon and the onions and the butter cooking together. It's like a match made in food heaven. At this point, I am going to add in my chicken stock, which as you know, I use my little stock base or whatever it's called. I'm gonna get a good spoonful of that. And make sure you always use a low sodium because you wanna make sure to control as much of the salt as possible. And then you're also going to add in some whole milk. Now, a lot of people make, there's so many different variations of the soup, really, there's no one way of making it, but for me, this is my like preferred um, concoction, I suppose. And now, to this, I am going to add my potatoes. Once everything comes to a simmer, you want everything to simmer together for about 15 minutes. The potatoes should be tender, but should, they should still retain their texture just a little bit and their shape, otherwise, it just kind of like, they disintegrate into nothing. So let that simmer, let that come up to a gentle bubble and then let it simmer on medium for about 15 minutes or until the potatoes are about tender. My soup has been simmering for about 25 minutes. It took a little bit longer because my potatoes were a little bit bigger than they should be, but all is good with the world. The potatoes are tender, but they still retain their shape and some of their texture. At this point, I have tasted this for seasoning and I do think it needs quite a bit of seasoning, at least definitely a lot of pepper because I love black pepper with any potato. And then a good pinch of salt. Not too much because we are gonna be adding the cheese in. Give that a stir, just to stir it in. Smells 
phenomenal. And now I'm going to add in the sour cream. Now, you, there's so many ways you can do this. You can omit the sour cream and just add it on top if you want to. I think it adds a richness you cannot replace. I'm gonna add my bacon back in, whatever's left over from me picking at it. And then this is optional. You can serve it on top or right in the soup. I like to do it right in because I just love the flavor of some green onions. And then some sharp cheddar that I have grated. You want a good cup and a half or so. I'm gonna reserve a little bit for the top, but I want a good cup and a half right into the soup. And this is what's gonna give you so much incredible richness. And then just kind of stir this in. And you wanna just simmer this for about five minutes or until the cheese is fully melted, but you don't want this to boil. You just want to simmer it slowly just to melt the cheese and to kind of heat up the sour cream. And now look at that texture. It is just phenomenal. I'm just gonna let this go for a few minutes and then we are ready to serve this baby. Look at that. That just looks phenomenal. Okay, turn it off the heat. I'm gonna ladle some. I am like, I am standing and waiting. That is just gorgeous. Look at that beautiful texture. The bacon, the potatoes, you can still see that they've got good shape. And then I just need a, a, just a little bit more cheese, just a little bit more cheese, just a little bit. Sprinkle that on top. You can sprinkle some more green onions on top, extra bacon, sour cream, whatever your heart desires. And then I kind of just like to do that so that it can start to melt. And then as I eat it, kind of like pulls a little bit. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm gonna give this a go, but I'm gonna just need a minute because it's hot. Oh my word. It is just so delectable, so rich, so fabulous. It is like a baked potato with all the fixings in soup form. I can't even tell you how good this is. Mm. Hot. Mmm. Really hot. Hold on. It is good enough to bring you to tears because you're eating it scorching hot. And that to me is a good sign. I hope that you try this. I hope that you love it. And I hope that if you've been requesting this for a long time, that this is exactly what you are looking for. Laura in the kitchen will have the recipe written for you, all ready for you to take it. Go to the grocery store, get your ingredients, make it, and I You'll, you'll, you will thank, you will thank me. You will love this. I prom, I will put my name on it. <laughs> Hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.